So for part two of our video with the Fisher EFT pulser, I'm going to show you how to find uh, problems in circuit boards. Here's one of an example. So this is a little microprocessor development board. And it's got a number of states. I like this one because it makes a noise. And if I change the state, that little noise will stop. So we've got our pulser running. I've slowed it down from the first part of it. You can see it's, it's going slower now. And we can even make it slower than that. Once or twice, about twice per second. So the problem with this board is, which isn't really a problem because it's just a proto board, is that if you do an ESD event of an ESC gun, even up in the air, not on the board itself, you can reset it. So that might lead you to look in the area of the reset lead, which is right in here. And that's actually the reset button there. So we might uh, scan around. You can see it's resetting once per pulse. I can slow the pulser down and it slows down. Resetting with every pulse, because I'm right over top of the reset lead. Normally you would scan the whole board, because you might not necessarily know what mechanism it is like we do now, but uh, right there. And there's a reason for that, actually. Let's see if I can get enough. We can get enough zoom here. The reset lead comes out underneath this patch of power under the processor, right just this side of that little piece of the power sticking out. And then it crosses that break in the ground plane. And as, as you may know, crossing a break in a ground plane is not a good idea. It's a two layer board ground, mostly ground some power on this side, signals on this side. But we zoomed in on it very quickly here. The, uh, in many, many cases I've seen this approach find problems in, in minutes instead of days, hours, and weeks that the conventional approaches take. The difference being, in the, before I used to do it with generators that cost tens of thousands of dollars and big heavy things. Now we got this little battery powered uh, pulser that does the same thing. It's powered off this little USB battery that is common these days. Well, thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.